Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, we're back on footstool duty. I said duty. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't torque anymore. She's solid. She ain't loose. She's not coming apart. And now it's time to cut a top. So I am going to take that piece of um, half inch ply and cut a top to sit on top of this. Just because it's going to be the quickest cleanest way to get this done. Now, in order to do that, I need to trace the shape. So I'm going to lay that um, piece of plywood down and I'm going to get this traced out and then I have to cut it, which I want to go out to my husband's shop and cut it because he's got more space and he's got this amazing setup where he's got this foam that he lays down on the table so that your piece is lifted up and you can just trace it around and you're not like holding it off the edge of a table. And it just makes cutting shapes and plywood and stuff like that so much easier and so much better. So hopefully I can do that and he's not got um, a big project in there or a truck or something that's going to prevent me from going out there and cutting it. Let me call him and find out. He said yes. <laughs> I love when I can go down there and it's like so much more room and it's it's just much easier with that foam that's underneath it. Because, you know, when you're trying to cut it, if you don't know, just listen. Um, when you try and cut a piece of plywood and you're hanging it over the edge and it, it wobbles like really bad. I mean, you get through it, but it's still, it's a bit of a pain to kind of try and hold it down and then cut it. And with this, this setup that he's got down there, um, you can just cut it and hold it. It's not wobbling. It's, it's literally on a piece of foam. It's a brilliant solution. I don't know where he picked that little trick up, but when I get my shop, my own shop, I'm getting foam for that purpose right there is cutting. But let's get this laid out and traced. I've got that piece of wood back there. I'm going to trace the shape and we're going to get it all ready to go. I lied. It's a quarter inch. I'm wondering if, if that's going to be. It's still just, it's too thin. Think that's going to be too thin. I don't want anybody to sit on it and then have, yeah, no, it's flexing. No, I mean, I didn't even put that much weight on it. Well, dang it. I'll have to call off my husband or he'll be looking for me. Hang on. Okay. So I told him that I'm not coming out right now. Um, he reminded me I have a one foot by four foot, um, three quarter inch piece out there, but that's not going to be wide enough. So this is 13 and a half wide. I need it to be wider than that, but I have other pieces of wood that I have in the garage. So I'm going to go out there and see if I can't locate something that might do the trick. If so, I can go out to the garage or out to his shop and, and cut this today. If not, it's going to have to wait till I pick up my check on Monday so I can go buy some. I do not have the right size piece out there. So. Hmm. Huh. It's the thickness that's the problem. I have another piece out there that is the same thickness as the piece I have in here. I gotta start getting some thicker boards. What am I getting the thin boards, y'all? Stuck in the thick stuff, Daisy. Well, I have a thicker piece out in the shop, but it's not wide enough. One foot angle cut it. 13 inches. 13 and a half. Huh. 
Well, better get the board. Okay, it's a couple days later, and I may not have had any boards that would work, but my husband had some MDF. Multiple density fiber board. So this is um, thick enough, obviously. It's not going to, it doesn't flex. I can stand on this thing. I'm suspended between two things, and it's not going to break. So this is what you need if you're going to be redoing a bench or anything like that. You don't want to put a piece of, Somebody going to get hurt at your house if you're going to do that stuff. This way, they're not going to get hurt. And I cut the pattern so that this actually... Hang on. Because she don't flex no more. So happy about that. This will actually go all the way out to the edge. So the weight will all be on the frame. Which I know, this is not how upholsters would do this. But you can see now it matches the edge of the frame. And what I'm going to do is use um, figure eight hooks, or not hooks, but attachment pieces because there's a little lip here. So there's some space between right here and up here. So this is the perfect sort of um, configuration for the figure eight. So the figure eight, did I show you guys those? They're great for tabletops, perfect for this kind of setup um, because we will, we will have a little gap here, but I am going to upholster and staple to this lip, the upholstery lip that is on there. So you won't, you won't see the gap. So get it, understand? But let me show you the figure eights because this is not getting done today. We're going to wrap this video up with me angsting over needing a a top because I need to paint this. Donna pointed out these look like fried eggs and I'm like, there you go. That's what's bugging me about these flowers. I'm going to hit these with some pink because I'm going to be painting, I'm not painting, upholstering it in pink. So I want to hit these with just a little bit of pink and let that dry. And then we will go ahead and attach the table, table top, this stool top and, um, then it'll be ready to upholster. Get some batting and some, what do you call it? <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I've had such a long day. It's not even funny. And my brain is like, I don't know. Just give up. <laughs> like my brain is, it just went, go to sleep. Just, why are you talking? <laughs> I have to pull my lights out of here again and go finish up some more. One girl didn't come out when we told her it's time. Did everybody get their picture taken? She's the only one who didn't answer, apparently. And uh, I'm going to take one more picture tonight. So I, I do have to finish that up, but this will be perfect. So what is this? Foam. Foam. The foam cushions for the top of this and then we'll put batting over it and we'll staple it down to the edge and then trim it out and it's going to be perfect because right now she's so sturdy like the glue did its job and this thing ain't going nowhere but I can't have the fried eggs now that Donna pointed that out so I'm going to paint that pink and uh, then next video we're going to be upholstering but let me show you the figure eights while I while I'm thinking of it I think I showed you guys these before, but if you're new here, this is a figure eight fastener. You can see it's a little thicker, so sometimes you do have to like carve out a little piece for it and embed it. But what's nice is, so, you know, this part is going to go down to the frame and then it hangs out over the edge and then you can just screw up from the bottom and it will secure that and it ain't going nowhere. So I'll probably do... Uh, two on each side on each of the short sides and then maybe two or three on the long side let's let me see if I can show you guys hang on so here can you see it so that's that and you see how there's the gap right oops never mind Again, 
goofy Stacy. Okay, I'll get that off the floor in a minute. But see how there's a gap there? And this fits right in there. Perfect for this application. Uh, if it was flat to the surface, you could use an L bracket from underneath and, you know, screw it to the frame and to the top, but it's not. So this one side will sit on the frame under here and the other side will attach underneath and we'll, you'll see that, but it, it floats in there pretty good. So that's the perfect application for this because I don't have to notch out the wood this time. Like a lot of times you have to notch out the wood for this and you know, it's not a big deal to notch out the wood. It's just a pain in the butt. But for this, I don't have to do it. I was like, whoo, figure eight. Perfect. It's not perfect for an L bracket because of that gap. It would move. It would shift. I don't want that. This will keep it from shifting. So we'll do like two here and then three. Three along the long, uh, along the long side. And this ain't going nowhere. No, no lie. It ain't going anywhere. And you'll be able to sit on it. You you might could stand on it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just because, I mean, that's not what it's for. It's not for standing on it and jumping up and down on it, but it, it'll be pretty. It's pretty sturdy right now. I can't say it's never going to unglue itself again. But I think we've definitely earned it another 40 years. It'll be, unless somebody takes it apart, but it will, it has the strength to last another 40 years. Let's put it that way. Right now, it's so firm, it's not going anywhere. So, hey, and I had a client call. She would like me to redo a chair for her doctor's office. I've done chairs for her before. I did a blue one and a black one. Um, She wants another black one. So this one's like a captain's chair that she has, she already owns. So I'm going to be doing that coming up. I was going to do a different chair for my booth, but clients come first, y'all. Make that money, honey. And it's money I can make with integrity. <laughs> uh, I've had some offers lately. Part of me wants to take money and just be happy because I have money. And the other part of me is like, I can't do it. And the OG, I texted him and I said, tell me that at some point integrity pays off. And he goes, sometimes you might have to just compromise it. Take the money. Depends on the situation. I'm like, you're not helping. You're not helping at all. So I got super depressed after talking to him today because I'm like, mm. I texted him back. I can't do that. I can't do that, you guys. <laughs> I can't do that to you, and I can't do that to my blog readers, if you're one of them. Um, this was a blog proposal. Collaboration. And I said I can't do it. So, um, <clears throat> my bank account's mad at me for not taking it, but... At the end of the day, money comes and goes and my integrity is all I have left. <laughs> so I'm never going to, you know, sell you manscaping products or hair dryers or anything that doesn't align with what I do because it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that they ask. And what's more ridiculous is there are people that would take it. And I don't get it. I don't get why they're even contacting me. And I guess because there are a lot of people that would take it. But I'm not one of them. So if you're going to my blog, it will not be spammy. And you will not see any manscaping blog posts from me. I'm not manscaping anything. I'm a girl. They know this, right? You know, I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm just checking and I want to get that out there. For those of you who might be confused, I'm female. <laughs> I'm not manscaping anything or anyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up.
don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin videos.